Hello there, I'm Mario Tab. You link our simply ATW. Welcome to the Let's Update Thingy Bobber. That's what I'm gonna call this segment, the Thingy Bobber, because whatever I'm trying to describe something, I would go, uh, you know, the Thingy Bobber thing. So yeah, uh, this week's update, very simple actually. Uh, new LP started, Kirby Nightmare in Dreamland for the Game Boy Advance. And, um, yeah, basically we're gonna do one episode of each of Kirby and Mario until both of them are done. Um, both should only be maybe about two weeks at the most for me. From what I can gather and looking at the videos I have in back catalog. Just because I know I get lazy sometimes or busy and I won't be able to record for a few days. Like I don't think I'm going to be able to record after Wednesday at all. So for like until next week. So that's four days and that would be like eight videos technically that I wouldn't be able to do if I didn't have a backlog of them. So yay. Um. So there's that, they're just sitting on my desktop ready to be uploaded. Um, basically though, that's about it. Uh, Mario and Luigi will be every day, so we'll be Kirby until they're both done. Um, I know some people were thinking of, other than what Nightmare and Dream was going to be, my LP at least. Um, some people were thinking of get, well, some people were guessing Klonoa 2 Dream Tournament for the Game Boy Advance. And the good news about that is, that is coming up. Um, it's not going to be right after Kirby. There's one more game in between Kirby that's really short that I'm going to do. Uh, the reason it's not is I still need to practice that game on my own time. Because unlike the first Klonoa game for the Game Boy Advance, I never owned this one. So, I wouldn't say it's blind. Well, it is blind, technically. So, I don't want to do an actual full blind run of it because, well, even knowing the puzzles in Klonoa 1... I was still confused at times, and you saw Momania. I, well, I hadn't played Momania in over 10 years, so maybe that's my excuse for that one. But um, basically, I want to practice the game a little bit. So I'm going to let Kirby run his course, and then I'm going to play that short little game, which I, if I have to guess, maybe five, six parts at the most. Maybe seven, maybe a week's worth of videos. I don't know. So after that will be Klonoa. Uh, after Mario and Luigi... I'm not 100% sure yet. I'm still looking into what I'm do wanting to do. I don't want to announce anything because I don't want to uh, just say, no, I'm not doing that game anymore. Sorry, and just brush it off to the side because that's kind of not fair, I don't think. So I'm not making any announcements until I am 100% sure I am doing the game. Basically, <laughs> after I record at least one episode, that's when you know I'm going to do it. <laughs> um, so, yeah, there's that. And after that, um, I don't know, we'll, we'll see. I, I have a lot of ideas and LPs I want to do. Um, but after this, Klonoa will probably be, I think the first Klonoa game was 30 parts, so it's going to be a while for Klonoa, and who knows what I do after Mario and Luigi. I'm thinking we'll do another RPG, so who knows how long that'll be. I don't think it'll be as long as Mario and Luigi, as far as length goes, and it definitely won't take a year and a half to upload it, as long as they don't get, you know hit with just drastic stuff in my personal life at least but that's about it um i don't know i really want to do the clino game though so i'm announcing that right now because i am going to do that game that's basically an obvious one for me because i just like clinoa and if i ever do get a dazzle or a capture card the first game i'll probably do on a console will be clinoa for the wii which is basically door to the phantasm I don't know, I really like that game too. And they're, the GBA series and that series are really different. GBA is more on puzzles, while the ones on the consoles, or well, the two on the consoles technically, are more on um, platforming. And both games are, all the games are good in the Klonoa series as far as I've played. I would like to do the RPG actually for the Game Boy Advance, but there's no translation guide. I would, I would need a translation patch. I, I there's, pro there's a guide out there, I think, but. I would I would have to translate all the dialogue, make sure it's in like videos and this either update and it would be a mess and I would just rather do a translation patch for that if I ever did the, did the RPG, which I don't think I'll ever do because I tried it and I like hey it's fun and then I got confused on what the hell I'm supposed to do. So yeah, um, it's a shame though. Klono needs more. Klono needs more games. Seriously though, I was hoping the Klono game for the Wii would you know reboot the series, but. Well, haven't heard hide or hair of him since then. Kind of a shame, though. 
Oh well, Klonoa, you'll still have your fan base, I think. Which is actually quite huge from what I hear. Oh well. At least I know what how to say your name now. Sigh. Anyways, um... My, uh... Oh yeah, um... So yeah, I can now... Don't have to worry about my hard drive filling up with space because... I have my, uh... External hard drive. I forgot what it was called. Basically a giant flash drive, but it's awesome. So I can up... Well, it's not awesome. Oh, it is awesome. It's always it's a terabyte of gig, a terabyte of gig. terabyte of memory. Blah, 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 blah. So yeah, I'll be able to use that for quite a while, I hope. So I don't have to worry about you know. Hey, I'm down to like ten gigabytes. Oh crap! <laughs> like I was the other day. Anyway, anyways, um, there's that. So you don't have to worry about that anymore. At least that's for me. At least. Um, Looking into Dazzles and capture cards and stuff like that, probably won't get one till much later. I already said that, but I don't know. This is updates, so I'm just updating on my situation, which is about bills, and I hate bills. Yes, hate you, Bill. Curse you. And I hate you, people sending me wanting my money or card for that money. Dang it. Oh well, you gotta do what you gotta do. Sadly, and it's never fun. Trust me, I do a lot of crap that I don't like doing at work, like taking care of customers. Bump, bump, ching. Okay, um, yeah, it's pretty sad when taking out the trash is the highlight of the day, because then you don't have to worry about taking care of customers anymore. Oh, boy. Actually, that's the highlight of the day at work. My highlight of the day is basically coming home and going to bed, and then getting up and doing a recording or two, and then going back to bed. That does sound like a sad life. Nah, not really. Because I don't do that every day. I have my own personal days where I don't do crap and play actual video games. Like, what have I been playing lately? Well, actually, as weird as it sounds and as bad of a game it is. Well, it's not a bad game. I take that back. It's a good game. Terrible, terrible voice acting. I could do better. Arc Rise Fantasia for the Wii. Great battle system. I had to turn off the voices. <laughs> Ah, oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. And you, you, you think PlayStation 1 games have bad voice acting? You ain't seen nothing till you played Dark Rise Fantasia. Trust me. And the sad part is, it's a good battle system. It just sucks with the voice actors. So I've been playing that. Ah, oh, jeez. I wouldn't mind the cutscene ones. I would leave the cutscene ones on and just deal with it because, you know, I, I would still like to hear what they're talking about. But the battle voices are just... Uh, they get on my nerves, especially the one chick who says, it's, it's, it's my calling or something. It's like, gotta follow my calling or something like that. It's like, shut up. You're annoying and your voice sucks. That game will be forever infinite known as bad voice actor, which is really a shame because the game is fun. It's a fun RPG, turn-based RPG, and it's a really unique battle system. It looks like Tales of Symphonia if you just look at the game, but... Or not really Tales of Symphonia, any of the Tales game, but I always say Tales of Symphonia since that's my favorite in the series. Oh well, that's a fun game. Uh, Epic Mickey I started playing again. I like the game, I know a lot of people hate it. Well, I don't think they hate it, I think they just don't get it. Uh, like, they complain about the controls and stuff. It really reminds me of, like, Rayman 2 or Banjo-Kazooie for, like, GameCube, or the GameCube, the N64, it reminds me of an N64 3D platformer, and that's probably why I like it, because I love the 3D platformers. Donkey Kong, Banjo, Rayman 3, uh, not Rayman 3, Rayman 2, Rocket, Robot on Wheels, all of them are great games. And I kind of miss those kind of games. Oh yeah, Mario 64, of course, duh. Um, whoa, so we got one, the most important one, probably. Well, I think Banjo-Kazooie is a little bit more better than Mario. Sorry, sorry. I know. Oh, Rare, you tick me so much. You tick me so off of nuts and bolts, I swear. Where's Banjo 3? Seriously, though. As weird as it sounds, that that was that was the main reason I bought a PS3, was because there it was like in between Ratchet and Clank are the Banjo games. It's like, well, Banjo's going to go to the Microsoft, right? And then it's like it's a stupid building go-kart game or something. I know what it is. It's, it looks like a game that they designed and like, you know what? Why don't we just throw the Banjo and characters in here just to please the fans? Like, okay. 
It's like, just make a 3D platformer. Rare. Seriously, Lay. What the heck happened to you guys? <sighs> Alright, that's his personal opinion on that one. I miss the old Rare. Donkey Kong Country, Banjo-Kazooie, Diddy Kong Racing. Oh, Rare. It's a shame. It really is. But yeah, those are about the only games I've been playing. The PS3's been just been sitting there collecting dust. And it's not because of online play, it's just because I just don't want to play it. I mean... Well, I take that back. I've been playing Sonic Unleashed, but I got to Eggman Land, and I'm like, Ugh, screw this. I go in there with like eight lives, and then I lose them all, and I waste about 40 minutes of my time. And it's like, screw it. I don't want to do it. I don't want to go back and do it. <laughs> I, just, I just don't feel like going back and going and playing through that again. I'm going to eventually. I know I will, because I like Sonic too much, and I, even though I hate the wear, I don't really hate the Werehog levels. I don't like the Werehog levels, but they're not that bad. I can tolerate them. I'd rather play that than God of War, personally, because I just don't like God of War, period, but that's another kettle of fish. Uh, I don't like any beat em up, really, but Sonic, for some reason, I can handle. I don't know, maybe because there's a the cleaving hope of the speed stages. Oh, Sonic Colors, that was a really good game. I need to finish that one. I'm on, like, the last world, I think. Oh, well. I'm rambling on, and honestly, though, that's about it. Update thingy, done, I guess. Go home. Watch my videos. Go watch some other people's videos. Do it!